What's up guys, coming with some more content on that new Garmin Force trolling motor. We're going to go over linking it with your Ecomap Ultra 126 Graph. Going to be the same process on an 8600. Stay tuned. All right guys, so we're coming here talking about connecting the Garmin Force trolling motor to the Graph. Um, how we get them to link wirelessly. Remember, it's all wireless linking between these, no NEMA necessary, you don't have to plug it in, no gateways, wireless. And we're gonna talk about putting the overlays on the specific screens you want. That's right, so on the trolling motor overlays, it is not an omnipresent control box. You're gonna be able to select it on the specific screens you want and get it linked up so you can use your trolling motor controls. If you want it just on mapping, just put it on mapping. If you wanna use it on down imaging, put it on down imaging. Put it on one, put it on all of them, put it on none of them. Don't care, but you can do it any way you want. So let's start off by going over the Active Captain app. Just a little bit, we're gonna to touch on it. So you've heard me talk about this before in other videos. Um, Active Captain is Garmin's app that runs software updates, unit integration, uh, quick draw contour mapping content, many, many other things. It's a great app to have, it is a free app. Uh, make sure you get that downloaded via, via the Google Play Store or the Apple Store, whatever that's called on Apple. Don't use it, don't know. Once you do that, the thing you're going to have to make sure on your units that they are updated to their most recent version of software. Again, you can do that directly through the Active Captain app or you can do it via chip through Garmin.com. I recommend the app. Um, it's very seamless works great it's you can download the update to your phone off-site and then the next time you come and connect the app to the chart plotter um, you, it'll ask you if you want to start the update and go ahead and do it then so let's move forward now and take a look at what we're going to do on the graph and on the trolling motor to get this linking going all right so once we have the the unit completely updated to its recent the most recent version of software we're going to start by getting the trolling motor ready to connect. Um, in doing that, you're going to turn the trolling motor on, let it power up on the top of the mount, and then we're going to push the power button three times. One, two, three. When we do that, the connectivity light in the top right hand corner is going to turn blue. Now back to the graph, once we have that done, we're going to go from the, the home screen, go into settings, we're going to go into communications, wireless devices and you'll see it says the Garmin trolling motor click there it's going to tell you the process that we're going through here press the button three times and we're going to click start now what that's doing it's searching for the trolling motor once it finds that it's going to pop up with a screen at the bottom that says you are now connected to the trolling motor Garmin trolling motor successfully connected okay that's it you're connected to the trolling motor when you do that, you will see that, that uh, the blue light that was on the connectivity status on the top of the bar will go back to green. That will go green when it's connected to the plotter. All right guys, so now that we have the trolling motor linked and the green light has come back on the connectivity icon, we're gonna go in and show you how to put the trolling motor control bar on a screen. Um, for this example, I'm gonna put it in the traditional sonar screen just so you can see it. I do have the unit in simulator mode just so the transducer and the face isn't looking wonky for you guys. So I'm going to go in and select sonar for the main menu. Traditional, as you can see, simulator, traditional sonar. Now, menu, I'm going to scroll it up, edit overlays. There we go. And on this case, now, this is however you guys want to do it. In my opinion, you already have a menu bar on the bottom of it. It's best to put it on the top bar because um, it is going to go all the way across as you see here in a second. So go ahead and select top bar and there it is, trolling motor bar. Now you have it live and there you are. So your top bar now has your trolling motor controls. You can put it in anchor, you can adjust speed, you can turn the prop on and off and it gives you your battery readout in the top left hand corner. Um, so you can again, you can put this in as many as or as few as screens as you want. Um, when we first set this up, we were thinking it was going to be a, a constant kind of omnipresent bar. 
on the graph. I like it this way. Um, you can select where you want it so it's not constantly cluttering up your screen if you don't want it on there. All right, guys, so there we go. We've got the new Garmin Force trolling motor linked to the Echomap Ultra 126 here. Again, same process if you're doing it on the Echomap Ultra or an 8600 series. Um, if you guys have any questions at all, always, as always, feel free to contact us, 316-313-4113. Shoot us over an email at sales at russellmarineproducts.com. We'll see you guys next time.